Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in heels. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know? There's that teen chewed again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to fix. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, Rock. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hell of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake hipster bullshit. Oh, the Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> no. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. I am so addicted to this site. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot.
You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it's gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream.